What is going on, everybody? Dan and Filter checking out the three bonus tracks off of Shogun Trivium's album. I feel like I said that weird. Trivium's album, Shogun, probably flows better. But anyway, this is Poison, the Knife, or the Noose. Let's figure out if it belonged on the... Like, could they have found a spot to, like, squeeze it in? Or is it not good enough and just wiser to leave it as a bonus track? You never really know. Standard. That was actually a strong chorus. Let's, keep, let's, let's see where it goes, especially with the bridge. But maybe it should have been on the album. Just judging the chorus. Let's see. Hold on. Let's give it. Give it a little more time. Whoa, whoa. I love those micro little double pedal step. Maybe this should have been on the album. I should be on the album. <laughs> <laughs>
Damn it. Yeah, that should be on the album. Let's be honest. If that was on the album, I think that would make my top five on the album list. Yeah, but it, it wouldn't be number one. It's not the best song on the album. But I think it would have made my top five. That was a good song. The whole way through. This was another one where the drummer stood out. And uh, on an album where mainly the guitarist, the gu- or guitarists, I think there's two, stood out most of this album. This is, there were a couple where the drummer did. This is one of them. He crushed this. This is one of his better drumming on the, song, on the album. Now to play devil's advocate, to help them out here. Maybe it didn't go on the album because you're, you are also trying to sell the special edition that has your three bonus tracks. If you have three mid-tier songs that just you could go without, why would anyone buy the special edition, the bonus edition? But they gave you a good one. This was a good one. They gave you a good one, so you, you kind of, if you're a big tripping fan, you need to get the special edition. You need the bonus tracks. That was a good song. It's kind of like back in the day, Slipknot had a, a bonus edition that had Purity. And that song was fucking outstanding. And I remember it became word of mouth. Like, everyone bought the normal edition because that's what comes out first. But then word of mouth starts going around, hey, have you heard Purity? I'm like, what? Yeah, it's on this new special edition. And it spread like everyone had to get both. You've already bought the original copies. It comes out months earlier. But now I heard about fucking Purity. Now I have to get that too. Now I've spent double the money just to hear one extra song. And it was fucking worth it. It was awesome. That's kind of this. Now we still have two more. Hopefully they're both good too. But that was a good one. That easily could have slid on the album. All right, I see what they're doing, though. I mean, it is smart. It is smart. Now, you don't want... The, the worst-case scenario is one of the bonus tracks being the best song on the album. It's like, it's better than the singles you had on the actual album. That's the worst-case scenario. That's, that's no bueno. This isn't that, luckily. It's not the best song, but it is a damn good one. Hit like. We're on to the next, which I believe is called... Upon the Shores. And then we have an Iron Maiden cover? Alright. So I think that's... I think I prefer that more for uh, most special editions and bonus tracks. Being covers of your own songs. Like just do it acoustically or live or something. Or covers of other people's songs. That's the best time to do it. Slide those in the bonus tracks. 